Welcome, I'm Marisol Gord, Associate Public Affairs Representative for Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser Permanente has been the premier health sponsor of the San Francisco Pistahan Parade and Festival for the past decade. We are honored to take part in what has now become an annual tradition to acknowledge and celebrate the contributions that Filipino Americans have made to enrich our society. We want to take the opportunity to recognize and thank all frontline heroes in the community for your sacrifice, dedication, and hard work. Thank you for your commitment to serve our community. We asked some of our Kaiser Permanente Northern California nurses to share what being brave, caring, and dedicated means to them in their profession. This is what they had to say. Caring for others with no hesitation. We are going towards towards the danger when everyone else is trying to escape it. Deliver care in venues and ways we've never dreamed of doing before. Showing up for our patients, even though I might be fearful as well. It's to be innovative, to be creative, blaze a new path in nursing. Knowing that my strength lies solely in my tenacity during these times. When I was asked to be on the front line, I quickly said yes, because I believe in doing what is best for the patient. Seeing patients at home, even if there is a risk, using careful listening, scientific knowledge, and compassionate action. And throwing humor into the situation whenever you can. Showing unconditional love to all your patients and families. When patients are coming in for their swab, they're very scared, and I just try to put them at ease and have a, a caring spirit with them really being present for the patient. We want them to know that we are there for them. Even through these challenging times, we will always treasure and celebrate the sacred beauty and joy of birth. You're there for your team, you're there for your patients no matter what. Exercising safest practice at all times. Contributing to the mission and keeping our community safe. Pushing our own anxieties aside and doing what we do best to care for our patients. Learning something completely new and going into a different area of the hospital. Being here at Kaiser Permanente and providing care. Thank you nurses from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Shukriya. We, we appreciate, appreciate our nurses. nurses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas, muchas gracias. Thank you. Kamsamnida. Thank you. Thank you, nurses. Thank you. Salamat po. Inspiring words for sure. And Kaiser Permanente is grateful for the work and contributions of all frontline staff in the community during these challenging times. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. Eric Ducott. He will talk about how to improve mental health by offering important ways you can practice self-care. Mabuhay sa inyong lahat and happy pistahan. I am Dr. Eric Ducott from the Department of Psychiatry at Kaiser Permanente South San Francisco. Today I want to talk to you about how to take care of yourself mentally during these challenging times. With so many things unknown and rapidly changing, you may feel overwhelmed, sad, or nervous. You may feel isolated and lonely. These are all acceptable reactions to the situation. There is no shame acknowledging this. I am hopeful that the following pieces of advice I will share will help you achieve better mental health. My first tip is to stop where you are and identify what you are feeling. You may be experiencing a stressful time, so pause, listen to what your body is telling you, and acknowledge it. Identifying that feeling is the first step to managing it. So take a step back and breathe. Second, take a break from the news. While keeping yourself informed can be comforting, too much information can also be overwhelming. If watching, reading, or listening to the news is making you anxious or depressed, then take a break. I would rather that you seek information that will allow you to take practical steps in preparing and protecting yourself and your loved ones. This goes for social media as well. Refrain from looking at what everybody else is doing. Though it is great to be inspired by other people's achievements, it is also important to recognize when this is becoming unhealthy behavior. Make time to take care of your physical self. 
keep active and exercise regularly. Get lots of good sleep by being consistent and adhering to a sleep schedule, even on weekends. Make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, and relaxing. Avoid using electronic devices at bedtime, such as mobile phones, computers, and television. Also, try not to drink anything that contains caffeine or alcohol before bedtime, and stay away from large meals before you go to sleep. If you have issues like sleep apnea, make sure to use your CPAP machine consistently. For any other issues, please do not hesitate to reach out to your primary care doctor. My fourth bit of advice is to stay connected. Reach out to your support system, whether it be family, friends, co-workers, church members, or others in your community. Tell them how you are doing and ask them about how they are feeling as well. We are all naturally social beings and we need the support of each other. Lastly, seek help if you are feeling overwhelmed or unsafe. If the distress is already affecting the activities of your daily life, talk to a professional. It could be a member of the clergy, a counselor, or a doctor. And as always, if you think you are experiencing a medical or a psychiatric emergency, dial 911 or go to the nearest hospital. We are living in uncertain and challenging times. Take comfort with the thought that we are all in this together, and with each other's help, we shall overcome. We are all members of the human race, and we are resilient beings. Thank you, and take care, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Ducott, for your expertise and important message encouraging people to stay healthy and safe. It takes a lot of people to provide quality care to the community. Every day and night, thousands of Kaiser Permanente employees are working to support their frontline team members. Here's an inside look at what our organization is doing behind the scenes to provide a high level of care. Kaiser Permanente stands at the forefront of our fight against COVID-19. And every day and night, thousands of Kaiser Permanente heroes work behind the scenes to help our frontline staff. They are cleaning 34 million square feet of space in 472 buildings. They are shipping 62,000 prescriptions per day. They have been assembling and delivering equipment for nearly 1,300 extra beds. They are setting up nearly 700 devices needed for new triage tents. And they have been building an entire lab in under two months that will process 10,000 COVID-19 tests per day. To all of our behind the scenes heroes, we thank each and every one of you. Kaiser Permanente is working hard to keep our community safe. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We encourage people to stay healthy and safe, and we are sending positivity to everyone in the communities we serve. Remember, we're in this together. Mabuhay and happy Pistahan. <laughs>